Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, I am once again taking a look at one of your designs that you have linked me in the comments section of one of my videos. And if you wish to see one of your items, a ship, a land vehicle, a base, a mod or whatever shown on this channel, just leave me a link somewhere and I'll eventually get round to it. So for today's video, we're looking at something rather useful with the economy update and that is the interstellar transportation vessel which is this thing right here it's essentially a small station if you will with thrusters that can be flown like a ship but its entire purpose is to jump you great distances so this ship features very little it does have some guns for defense but it has a lot of connectors for you to connect your ships up to it has a lot of jump drives and can jump up to 12,000 kilometers. It has a solar panel there for some renewable power and it has quite a few reactors on there just to help speed up the charging times. So pressing F10 and finding the ITV, there it is, ITV which is a channel in the UK. It used to have very good cartoon shows on there, it used to have Up on the Roof and all that where they had Power Rangers and I think Beyblade that might have been channel 5. Anyway, this ship weighs in at 725 large blocks, so it's not too big and it's relatively easy to build in survival mode, but you do have to watch out because there's quite a few large reactors on there which could be a bit of an issue if you just got into space and you're just starting to dig into those asteroids. So starting at what I believe could be the front, there isn't any kind of definition of front or back on this ship, you can simply just fly it from this end, but the spotlights point backwards. So it's whatever floats your boat at this point. So the very front-ish thing right here, we have a connector. Yes, one of many on this ship for you to connect up a small or large vessel to. Behind that, we've got some sloped blocks with some sloped corner blocks and some sloped half blocks, which then sits a little seat. This seat is kind of hidden away because you're not really going to use it outside of jumping the ship or turning it to align to your destination. Above that we've got some ion thrusters which are the only thrusters that appear on this ship. Above that a spotlight to ensure you can find your way to the actual cockpit if you ever get lost on this ship. Coming down and around we can see we've got more spotlights, more ion thrusters and the large reactors. Yes the large reactors go all the way around the outside and they do have some modded guns sitting on the ends of them just to keep you protected from the odd meteors if you have them on. Then coming back around to this bit here we have another connector, in fact two connectors on a conveyor on a piston which can be extended out if you have a very large ship that you need to attach onto it. It's basically, I think the best way to describe this station is a modular jump drive attachment. Take any ship you want, just latch it onto this and jump and go basically. And then you can leave this ship wherever it is to recharge while you go and deliver your goods at the station and then by the time you come back it'll probably be ready to take you back home. Anyway, moving along the side there we've got some more conveyors which then just go off in a very weird, very abstract type of thruster setup here where we have conveyors that go up onto arm thrusters all the way around here but it's not the same on the opposite side. If I go further inside past these modded weapons with a little light on them, we can see all the jump drives all lined up. We do have gyroscopes on here which helps it turn. This thing moves very slow by the way. There's not enough thrusters on here but it does suit it because it's not a ship that you'll be flying normally. Moving along towards the back here we get to the main feature of the ship which is this rotating solar panel circular type thingamabob where it has two antennas on there for you to have the little display on there. They don't show anything, they are simply just spinning around so you can always find where it is and you know exactly what you're heading to. Yes, we've got these solar panels which are just sitting on the edge of these modded blocks, which make it look good. It makes it suck up all the powers of the sun so you can simply turn this towards the sun and it will just help charge those jump drives. But yes, that was just spin around constantly there. We do have a large reactor dead in the center which is attached onto a rotor onto another large reactor which then goes onto the main base. And as we come along the back we've got another rotor with a secondary spinning part which does look good when you come over to this part here. So we have another one spinning in the opposite direction at a slightly faster speed with some more blue lights. Yes I do like the blue lights on ships, I don't know why it just looks good when you're in space. Yes, that is our little solar panel collection thing with Bob. It has some flashing red lights, as you probably just saw over there. 
There it is. And yes, it's a rather novel ship. I've never actually thought of doing this when it comes to a big ship, having a attachment to jump you further. Because yes, jump drives are very big blocks. They require lots of power to actually charge up in a reasonable amount of time. So it does make sense to have it completely separate from your own little ship. Coming up to the top, what do we have? More ion thrusters and some nice block work. We can see the top of the jump drives going along there. And as we go back to where I'm standing, just have some nice block work with a few more lights on it. Dropping down and coming underneath, we've got basically the same story as on the top there, apart from we can actually see that the, the ion thruster is not the same on both sides. They're simply there just to help you turn and face the direction you need to go. And that is basically it. It's a sweet and simple little device for you to attach onto your ship. And that is exactly what I'm going to do right now. Well, not right now. I need to actually fly this ship. Whoop, what has happened here? Okay. So getting my jetpack on and actually trying to find where the seat is. There it is. We now get in and we have a few options. But first, a small thruster test just to show by what I mean by it's not very agile. So going forwards, this is the speed we're getting. And then stopping, again, is very, very slow. Moving backwards is the exact same story. Going left and going right is a lot better because that helps you with the turning around like this. So if we need to, say, aim in that direction, we can spin around quite fast and get in line like that. But anyway, that is the small issue with this ship. It's very slow going forwards, so it's not a combat vessel. It's not going to escape pirates very fast. You will need to rely on the jump drive to get anyway. But that is the main purpose of this ship. As for the hot bar, number one is to turn the spotlights at the very back front thing. So yes, you can turn them on and off if you want to do that. It looks quite good if you look from a distance. So there's that. Just makes it easier to spot as you're approaching it. Number two is to turn the modded turrets on and off. So if you needed extra protection from either some space pirates or the pesky meteors that tend to come and clunk into the stuff quite often, you can do that. Number three and number four do the exact same thing, which is extend out the pistons to allow a much larger ship to come and attach themselves onto this uh, jump drive. So there's that. It'll just keep going out and out and out, like so. And you can, if you really wanted to, just come into the pistons, which is there, and increase the maximum distance as far as you need to attach your big ship onto this. And then we have number five, which is then to lock it in place. So if you don't want it to extend all the way out, you can just manually just stop it in its track. So if I want to maybe have it say, ooh, about there. There we are. It's now stopped in place and perfect to line up my ship. Number six is the antenna. Yes, so we can see the two there, which are spinning around on our solar panel feature, which we can turn off like that. So if you don't want it on, and if you don't want to see it from a great distance, you can turn it off. Oopsie, wrong button. There we are. Now number seven, eight, and nine are for the jump drives. Number seven is to fire it, and there you go. That is 12,000 kilometers, which is quite a nice range, actually. And then we have number eight, which is to decrease the jumping strength. So if we want to say jump, ooh, 10,000 kilometers, we can then just keep decreasing that all the way down, 8,000 kilometers, or we can press number nine to increase it. And there we are. You can, if you didn't want to just button mash it like I was, just come over to the jump drives which are there and manually control it like so. So if you want to jump only five kilometers, you could set that to zero and do a very, a very lame jump actually. In fact, I'm going to jump. Do I want to jump five kilometers? That's actually quite a big distance now I'm thinking about it. No, I won't do that. I will just simply go back to the jump drives and put them all the way back up to their maximum range. So now for a small demonstration, I have took this little Kite Space Fighter Mark III from the workshop. I think I've done a video on this one. I've attached some more thrusters on here because this is the one which does the loop-de-loop -loop in order to stop and has a lot of Gatling guns on it, so it's great. And now I'm just going to connect myself up as best I can and then we're going to go for a little jump. There we go, just keep it going. And then I need to drop forwards and connect myself up. Ready to connect, press seven. I'm now attached and can come over to the seat and jump. I will mention right now that this is in survival mode. So the reactors are using the uranium 
and guns are very limited in this mode because I haven't put ammunition into them. But anyway, I would like to jump, say, to the unknown signal over to there. So I'm just going to line myself up. Silly me, I can't actually jump that distance. I have a minimum of five kilometers. Kind of annoying. So it just means I'm going to have to do a blind jump instead. So let's just remove that. And the blind jump, 12,000 kilometers. All right, here we go. And when you're ready. Ooh, those particle effects. So good. Anyway, now we've jumped 12,000 kilometers. If I just put the signal on, I think I've jumped past the signal beyond where it can actually signal me. But I can just get out of here. I'm now done with the jump. Come over to my little ship, disconnect it, and away I go. So it's a nice design if you want to do a lot of long range trading and don't want to put a lot of jump drives on your ship because you can't fit it on there or you can't do it without ruining your design. So anyway, that is it for this video. It's a nice little thing to have around if you're willing to build it in survival mode or build something similar like it. Or you can simply just download and paste this in if you're lazy, like I would do. Anyway, it's in the description below if you wish to download and try it yourself. And I'll be back with another showcase video some point soon. Bye bye.